Billy Dillard from Billy Dillard Art here. Um, this is a short video on using some sculpting epoxy to create some burrows on these limbs on the ferry house. I'm just wanting to time in with the under, underlining of the ceiling, the roof, mind you. So uh, it's going to be kind of a loose style, but it'll give you an idea of how you can do some burrows real quick and easy uh, on a project. You might be doing something similar to this. The material I'm using today is 307 light, by, made by Polygen. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so I already got my poly gem mixed up. I keep it under this wet rag here to keep it uh, cool down because that big a clump, um, it'll start generating heat and it'll cure out, it'll kick quicker or cure out faster. So I'm slowing it down a little bit with this cool damp rag and keep it and I keep it out of the sun. So I got me a glob and I'm fixing to get started. So here we go. Thinking, okay, if this was some burl and moss growing here what would it look like and uh, so i i do a i try to pay a lot of attention to the trees around where i live to kind of get because we got these growing around here as far as the burls i've seen them on fir and maple different trees okay got me another batch right here but see basically my big concern is just tying these limbs in here where it has more of a finished look of what I'm after. So, oh, here we go. And as you can see, I don't spend a bunch of time on trying to be too exacting with it because usually in nature, these things just, they kind of like you do their own thing. Okay, after I get this on here, I'll come back in with some <laughs> really basic sculpting tools and start creating more of the burl look that I'm after. Okay, now I'll just slap some over here on this tear limb. rid of this squared off in look here really don't care for that so piece of cake so again I don't try to drive myself crazy with this trying to worry about does this exactly the same size as the other or, or anything like that because I like I like my stuff to be kind of like I like the irregularities let's see let's build this out a little bit more Have one down here just kind of like doing its own little thing. We can bridge the gap over here. Can you see what's going on over here? Okay. Slap a little bit more right up here. Actually, this is kind of fun. Um, I didn't ever get to play with any kind of like clay when I was a kid. So as an adult, this is actually pretty fun for me anyway. Now, you'll notice I'm kind of going all the way around it, this here to tie it in. So it kind of locks it in place. I've got some long decking screws in there but so I got a mechanical bond and so now I'm just kind of adding a little bit of a uh, chemical bond basically so by putting this epoxy wrapping it all the way around there it kind of locks it in place 
so I shouldn't have any issues with it coming apart so uh, here's the tools this was a broom and basically you just take some of the bristles cut them and you can take a piece of wire rubber band whichever you want to use and make you a little tool like this and this was off another a sweet broom there's some kind of plastic so I just cut that thing apart made me a bunch of these and this is one I actually bought it's um I got this at Georgie's it's a sculpting tool so anyway between the three of them I'll get the effect I'm after so let's get started so just drop them in the water because that's what I'm using for my release agent by the way and then it's just um going in here and creating some uh texture real quick and when if it starts getting to where it's grabbing your tool you just dip it in the water again because you don't want your tool getting full of epoxy so there again first I just kind of use this tool to move it around a little bit and get the look I'm after so, and I don't spend a bunch of time trying to Draw myself crazy making sure he's exact or anything. Okay, let's do something with this up here. Big burl right there. It's pretty cool. So this is the, you can just take your tool and squish in here and move it around a little bit and create the look you're after that there you see me just kind of create a hole right there for aesthetics looks okay now create a little dimple there and I've seen these on some of the burrows on the trees Just kind of breaks it up a little bit. All right, let's get back to this here. And then we can grab this one here. This one's got, as you'll see, it's finer, little finer holes that it creates. So go over that some. Pretty simple. Now, I'm debating whether I'm going to come in and paint them or not. Because I could actually paint them and look like they're moss covered with some green and um, yellow and burnt umber and stuff. I can create some cool effect. So, that's still in the debate stage at this time. But you see that was going, going pretty quick. Oh, and then I can, if I want to, I can take it do something here like that and then come back in with this tool and if you want to knock it down some or soften it up you can just take a chip brush and some water and you can knock that down if it's um, looking too textured for you but I kind of like it so huh I'm not even going to worry about going over it with knocking it down any. So anyway, um, hopefully that kind of gives you an idea on sculpting some burls with epoxy on a, whatever project you're doing. I mean, you could use these kind of techniques if you're doing some underwater aquarium type project, you know, on your, your rocks or whatever you're doing underwater. You can take these techniques and scale them up. Just use some different kind of tools, but get a real similar effect. Now, dip right in here and create me a dimple just for the fun of it. Oh, why not one right there? Then just come back over and texture that on out. So anyway, I hope this short video helps you out. Um, uh, if you have any questions, just uh, subscribe and Ask me and I'll get back with you.